Morning, everyone. Back Morning. to my shush. Wake up. I just had my coffee. Back to normal routine. Oh. Wake up, alarms, having to drive Liam to to school. You know what's funny is that my week away, I was actually waking up considerably earlier than this. It was like probably six, six thirty every day because uh, we had to do stuff. But you know. It's different when you wake up and you know you're going on an adventure, right? You're kind of like, you got adrenaline. This is like, yeah, I gotta wake up and I'm gonna drive my son to school. And then Woo! We're gonna ground him. Uh, yeah, then we're gonna ground. So, new rule in our house, because we're tired of repeating it Callahan, too. You and Zoo, anyone that listens, but he's young, I'm sure he'll fall into the trap. No more eating in their rooms. You know, like we try and have dinner together and stuff like that. They're like, oh, can I just eat in my room? I'm in the middle of this. Liam's always got an excuse. Usually video games. Usually video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the problem is we're like, okay, that's fine. You can eat in your room. Bring your dishes down after. With Liam, it's in the morning. It's like, close your window because it's cold out. See this? We have heat on. So I'm like, close your window because that cold air comes in here. I know he likes it cool in his room, but I pay for heat, or Pam and I pay for heat in this house. So it's like, close your window, turn your light off, turn your TV off, and bring your dishes down. Of course, clothes everywhere, light is on, windows open, TV's on, and plates are all over the place. So he's gonna be grounded when he gets home. Cal is not gonna get grounded in this particular case, but if he leaves more dishes up there, then he will be. Sure enough, Cal, is that fair as a warning? Yes or no? I, I don't understand head nods. Yes. Daddy's back. Rules are back. Let's go, move it, soldier, move, move, move! That's raining outside. Snow, rain, snow, rain. This is the horrible part of uh, winter. It's the horrible part of winter where we are, I should say, because if you're in like, you know, the East Coast or, I don't know, you guys probably can't even see that. It is, it's raining out, so it got warm. We're like, oh, what do you complain about warm? Slush, crap. It actually makes the roads very dangerous because it puts a slick, like it's a, I don't know, man, I always see. Then again, anytime snow falls, people just, I don't know, it's like they forget how to drive. But you know, when you get back from a trip, you know, if you're if you're working or even in school, you're on holiday. Uh, like I'm talking about a week holiday. Hey, babe. What? When you make it, can you take some of that uh, mozzarella ball I had and maybe some thin slices of that with the tomato for a buy sandwich? Yeah. Thanks, babe. She's making a toasted tomato sandwich. I haven't had actually one in a long time. She's like, hey, you want one of those? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. So anyway, you know when you come back from uh, vacation. It's worse when it's winter time and you go to some place like Jamaica or some place like directly different from where you are and you're not ready. It's like the next day you got to go to work or even if it's two days away, you got to go to work. It's like there's no unwind time. And this is, you know, I love my job. I really do. And I'm, I know how good I've, I've got it. You know what I mean? Relatively, you know what I mean? Like I understand that, but it's no different. It's like I get back. I had hardly any sleep I got one or two days. No, it was one day. Was it one day after my sleep? I don't know. I it was all a whirlwind. It felt like one day and then the next day I had to start working again and although You know, it's you know playing video games with my bud. It's still work, right? It's not uh, I just want to absorb it all in. I've been running around trains, planes, and automobiles with John Candy. If you haven't seen that movie, I recommend it. I kind of went through it a little bit. Lived it. Actually, I lived it more with Jamaica when I went with uh, Pam and the boys for Christmas. That one and only time we've ever done that and will ever do that, right? Hey? We're not going to wait for Christmas again, right? Never. No, never. There's no tomatoes? There's no tomatoes? No. Okay, well, maybe... Cheese, lettuce, lettuce. Okay, how about no pickles? Okay. Okay, thanks, babe. I don't mind pickles, but I, not just a pickle sandwich. It's a bit weird. Anyway, I feel that way. And right away, I've got to get back. And I've, I've, you know, I fell behind in one day for the vlogs, which you guys actually may not know, but it's two days behind, which is actually good. I, I actually don't mind that. It gives me time in case I've screwed something up, in case I, you know, have time right away, and I can schedule it ahead. It'll only be an extra day, but. Once they're going continuous like they are now, you won't even notice. It doesn't matter if this happened yesterday or two days ago or right now. 
you know, as long as there continues, you're still seeing how my life is progressing. I shouldn't say just my life, but my family and myself, you know. Anyway, I got some work to do because we got to go out to Walmart to pick up some... What? I'm not going to tell them exactly. We have to pick up some stuff for a holiday season. Huh? You get it. Anyway, that's what we got to do. So I got to get this stuff done before I have my non-toasted tomato sandwich. That's a really let down. I was, when you said that, I was soup. Did you use them all up for the salsa? I had two, but they were in the fridge too long. I had that. Oh, freezer burn. Oh. Anyway, she made salsa while I was gone. Three cans. She's not. She said it was too vinegary. What? What? Anyway, I gotta get this done. We're heading out. Santa, you watch our house. Ho, ho, ho. Well, that's rude. I'm not waiting. I was just about to tweet out too. Ugh, it's so close. I was gonna, Look at my nose. Don't go up your nose. <laughs> what I was uh, tweeting was, I'm not waiting for 2018 to start making this year better, to start enjoying life more. I'm starting now. It's Christmas, my favorite time of the year. Uh, I'm just going to be positive, you know, and start making things better. So I forgot my sunglasses. Pam let me borrow hers. What do you think? It reminds me of that Will Ferrell one where they do the, oh, yeah. the casino. He's like, you're wearing women's glasses. He's like, they're, what is it? He's like, they're Italian. <laughs> they're Italian. You know what? Sometimes those glasses, you just got to be able to rock it. Am I rocking it, people? Not so much, no. Did you see the Jumanji video? I tweeted it. I retweeted it. With Dwayne it. Johnson, yes. the new one? No, I haven't seen that oh, yet. Oh, my God. Jack, Have you seen Jack, that? Jack Black and Nick Jonas. Yeah. Uh, did the video yeah. for the sound for the soundtrack? It's really good. Really? Yeah, they did a really. Have you guys job. seen Jumanji? I haven't seen that yet. Have you seen it with the kids? No, it's terrible. What's it's terrible? Funny. The movie is terrible, no, or the the video? The video. Jack Black and Nick Jonas. Oh, I'll have to see. Do you even know what awesome. she's talking about? Because I haven't seen that either. Oh, I'll have to see just, that later. Yeah, look up the Dwayne. Dwayne. The Dwayne. The Dwayne. Look up the Dwayne the Johnson Dwayne. video. It's gonna be very nice. You're gonna like it. The Dwayne tweeted it. This Make morning. sure you wear uh, Italian sunglasses. <laughs> They're Italian. And you talk like Floyd. Dude, yeah, that's right. Uh, this is very good. I actually really like the original Jumanji one with uh, Robin Bob Williams. Williams. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It was free. I, I don't know if I heard anything bad about the new Jumanji. No, I'm sure the movie is great. It's just that. Well, now I'm gonna have to know, look it up Jack on my Black's phone. Face. Yeah. Just look at, look at his this face miserable alive. weather, though. Hey, it's not snow. Yeah, I know, but it makes it sloppy. It's like. Yeah, look at this. We're in a weird spot because on. we're on. We're in like snow. southern. Bas basically, the southernmost part of Canada is where we are. Point Pelee is the southernmost point in all of Canada, and it's actually the same as Northern California, like latitude-wise. So, but yeah, look at yeah, the dirt. it's it gets all or the snow gets all. Dirt. Yeah, it's gross, and then it gets all on your car. And then the cars look like crap. Then you get it on your boots, and you get it on everything. It's just miserable. Oh, and I don't like it, you kids. Well, crappy news is we went by to try and pick it up, but it's way too big, doesn't fit in the back of the truck. So we had to return it, and now Pam's gotta try and find it, I don't know, on Wayfair, Amazon, or Walmart again and have it delivered, but who knows if it's gonna arrive on time. I mean, we are way, way, way too close to, I was looking at the date because I didn't actually even know, but I know it's, darn close to uh, Christmas time you know what I mean and typically you know if you order anything this time of year good luck getting it on time which is gonna really suck the other big item that we got uh, that we got as well well it was it sent to be delivered so hopefully we get that or else it's gonna be kind of crappy and I you know I don't know, we didn't even think about it. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about measuring the back either, but it doesn't fit in the back of this. That's, even with the, the seats all down and everything like that, even on an angle, it's just too big. It's like giant square. There's no, anyway, Pam's inside there. I gotta go in and meet her. I really don't like going into the Dollarama. I don't know, there's just something about that store that kind of roughs me up. But I gotta go in. I had some business to take care of for the uh, map contest. They were like, when's the decision gonna be made? I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot to let them know. We wanted to let uh, the other gamers in the community play the maps through Christmas, and we also missed one map, so we gotta play that one, I think actually tonight. 
And then we want feedback from the community as to what their favorite was, because that's a huge influence too. We don't want it just on our shoulders. You know, we're, we're gonna make the final decision, but we wanna see what the community thought about the maps as well. So it'll be made in the first week of January, if you're one of those map makers, if you happen to be watching that. So anyway, I gotta make a vlog. I'm just gonna make a simple vlog for it. I'm not doing anything. You can put a ton of production into it and no one cares. Put in minimal effort, the same views happens on the video, regardless as of the production value. You know what I mean? Lesson learned over the years here. Put in tons of effort, well, except for Can We Survive? We want those to be kind of professional, but that's because I'm thinking more Netflix, Amazon Prime, and you have to be professional. Doesn't matter about YouTube. YouTube, you can put pig slop on there. No offense, like not to you guys, but you know what I mean? Like I see that, I try and put effort Chris, my business partner and bud tries to put effort, but it's like, sometimes it has zero effect on anything. It's like, why bother, you know? Bit frustrating at times. But anyway, back to happy thoughts. We're back home. Pam's dropped me off. She's got more shopping to do. More Happy shopping. Drop. Uh, this time of year is just absolutely insane. Are you good? Yeah, Liam texted me and he called. What did he? What is he saying? He wants me to look for his bank card. No, he can look for it in the pig side that he created in his room. Liam, if you watch this, you make a mess, you're not organized, your room is a disaster, it's somewhere in there, and you're gonna search, because you gotta clean it anyway, dude. Boom. It's time for the meatballs. All right, were you guys good boys? Hey, were you good boys? Were you good boys? Watch out. Jesus, they're going after mom. Mom's upstairs. Where'd the mommy go? Mommy's upstairs. You call them, babe? No, <gasps> What? No, Floyd, come on. No, oh my God, he just, for a dog he has like stupid. no, he's stupid. stupid. He's stupid. like, I can't, like he seriously can't hear anything. Stupid. He'd be like the worst stupid. tracking dog ever. That's my mom. I'm so excited, I found her. I didn't know where she was. I Pam's going that. back out. Going out, more chopping. <laughs> Whoa, so we're having Christmas dinner at our house this year uh, and I'll be preparing uh, quite a bit of it as well. Hasselback potatoes, which you don't know, just look them up. I really love them, they're my favorite. They take a lot of work to make, but it's like uh, potato peeled in half and then tons of slices down the center and then you brush it with butter. Uh, we use like a, a butter and then a, a garlic on it as well, but I think we always add the garlic too early and it burns. So maybe more traditional this year. But look them up, oh, they're so good. Super, super simple to make, but trust me, if you like baked potatoes or like sort of more hearty potatoes like that, try them, they're, they're really, really, really yummy. And then uh, we'll have riz a la monde, which is the, like a Danish type pudding, and we gotta order Danish Kringle as well. Since they're all having, we're throwing uh, Christmas, we'll be having a little bit of the Danish style because I like to keep, you know, every year I like the kids to remember some of our heritage and everything like that. I usually have red cabbage as well, but I don't know how many other people like it. I like it, so I'm eating it anyway. I gotta get some work done. I gotta hop on the computer. I gotta get some maps downloaded. I gotta get our last zombie map, Christmas map. And then tomorrow I gotta go out I think, uh, and get more stuff. It's like push the last minute. Honestly, as, as fun as the Can We Survive was, it was like a horrible time. It was in between just after Pam's birthday, just before Liam's birthday, and right before Christmas. Exhausting! What? What are you barking at? Bravo! Did he take your toy? <laughs> what a mess. Look at this mess. Everything is a mess. Drives me crazy. This house is a mess. I come home, it's a mess. I get up in the morning, it's a mess. I go to bed at night, it's a mess. Ugh. I know you guys don't care, you're just dogs, but you know what, it drives me crazy. Cause it's a mess. It's just, look at. This mummy growling. I'm growling, Rommel. Done working. What are you watching, Dr. Phil? Oh, his show is boring lately. Not, not enough drama. No, <laughs> it's, ho it's horrible drama. It's just oh, stupid no, it's people. So Every time I watch it, it drives me nuts. I'm like, 
These people are idiots. No, they're not idiots. They're just normal people like us. We are, if you're saying we are like the half the people that are on there. Seriously, you can't judge them. You don't. Oh no, know. I can. Oh my God, no you can't. I can do anything. I'm just saying, like, we can judge. I don't know if Dr. Some of them, some of them are good and some of the advice is good. But generally it's like, any, it's, he's turned into those people that, I don't know, like those shows from the like 80s Geraldo, and 90s. Geraldo. Geraldo and all Donahue, those other. Phil Donahue. Yeah, exactly. The yeah, fact those that, were great shows. No, they're, okay. Those were great Conversation shows. about Dr. Phil is over as soon as she's saying that those are great shows. Well, not Geraldo. Geraldo's an idiot. Oh, yeah. The other ones are really oh, good. Oh, Springer. Jerry Springer. No, come on. Maury. Maury. You are not the father. That's all. You are not Maury should be like Maury the... What? The paternal... Uh, dictator kind of thing. No, as soon as he starts doing watch. that, you're. I'm actually deleting the channel so you cannot watch that. Get a grip. Get a grip. What are we making? We're gonna have pasta and meatballs. Pasta and is that Alfredo sauce? Yeah. Oh. According to you, it's gross. Eat gross. Well, he doesn't even like sauce, so what, he doesn't like tomato care. or Alfredo I'll sauce. Freaking peanut butter. Kitchen looks nice and clean. Yeah. Hey. I think the Christmas shopping is all done. Yeah. Really. So. Except for some gifts from a special lady. Oh, don't! What you don't. already said that you I got, got me one little thing. Then let me get one little thing. Fifty dollar max. You don't put a, a oh, restriction yeah. on my shopping. Niels, come I on. know her situation. Niels. I'm not going to be going out and buying you a Lamborghini or something. Oh, what? Jeez, unless it's a Hot Wheels. I want a Lexus. Oh, I want a Phantom. A fan of Royals. Anything else? You want to be a princess too? No. No? Okay. I like, no can, princess. Can you open a dog shelter for me? <laughs> you guys want... We can open up a dog shelter or something. Oh, we gotta open this box. Come on. Oh, yes, that's box. right. Okay. Let's, let's open this. up the box. Let's do it. Oh, I don't want to show the... I don't want to show the address. Don't do it. Relax. Okay, take the lid off. Panic up. attack! Panic attack! <laughs> that. What? What is this not on for? We just got this whole fan installed and you don't even use it. What? Is it still not open? I know you're scaring. You're not good with knives, and and why do I say that you're not good with knives? Because I'm not. No, but yeah, you've cut yourself a lot, though, babe. It's not just like once or twice. Like you slice your fingers open, you make me very nervous. Oh my goodness, that's where Liam gets it from opening up boxes. It's like, there's no civilized yeah. way of opening this thing. All right. But it's still not. It's a beautiful time. For you got a knife. Use a knife. I know, I'm rushing though. Oh, it's, it's, painful, painful. it's painful, people. It's pain. It's painful. There's no pressure. It, there, well, there is. When you got the camera in your hand, it's always pressure. To open. Oh, look, look at that. Look. It's Ooh. probably just packing stuff. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh there's. <gasps> I don't let them have it. Oh, it's a dog toy. It yeah, is a dog, it's a dog toy. Oh, okay. Oh what is this? Look at it. Get one. Get one. Get one. You want that one? Okay, here. Can you take the thing off there? Because Ramo. Ramo, you Ramo. want this one? Ramo. Ramo. Get it, Ramo. You got it. They're gonna re they're gonna shred those so fast. <gasps> oh my. Oh. I I put the lid on the I side. Know, well, What's the deuce? Put the lid on. Okay. Yeah, just leave it off. We don't need the lid on as long as it's boiling. Okay, back to the box. Back to the box. Vlog. Yes. Look Chewy. It. Look it. Oh, did I even Vlog say? Safe. Promise. <laughs> Vlog safe promise. <laughs> this is from Renegade and his family. Yeah. Renegade is his name, obviously. Oh my god! Whoa! Are you gonna freak out? It's my favorite book. Johnny got his gun. I don't know if I've ever read the book, oh so I You're should totally probably watch, watch that. I just made myself choke. You made her freak out. You made her freak. Oh! Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Like, hey, mom's freaking out because we got a gift, a gift box from Renegade and his family. Oh, you do have the book. Yes. This is. Uh, somebody chewed it's on a, it. This is the rat. best book. So apparently. Is this, this <laughs> probably isn't kid friendly you know, though. You know the video, Metallica, one. We got those, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I am. But we got to wrap things up here oh, because sorry. you can talk about that after. You know the Metallica one video? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh, that's awesome. Like this. Ooh. She's gonna turn this into a hat. Oh, from. That's not for your beard. It's for me. Let me look at it. Your beard's not near long enough yet. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Nice. Thank you so much. What is it? What? What? It's in my beard. It's. <laughs> you don't have a beard. Oh, it's, you oh, know what? I trimmed it just to. It's a, thing. it's a safety light thing. A safety light. Oh. Yeah, like that's really cool. Beard stuff? What is this thing though? I'll have to take a look. Oh, it's like a, a brush and stuff in there. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gosh. What is this? What is this though? Open oh. that up. Open that up. Let me get my knife. Listen up. to those two. <laughs> those two are going full on ridiculousness. Here you and this is for you. Is Whatever's it? in here, it's for what? you. You can't say that. What happens if it's like Lube. It's peachy. Oh yeah, that's you right. You us, right? What? Yeah, yeah. Aww, oh, it's honey! I hate honey. Look at this. You hate honey? That's it. You don't even know. You put it in your tea, oh, put it on your toes. Honey, local honey. From, it's American honey. It's American honey. Oh, look. American. I got a beard comb. Dude, this beard a comb and a brush. Thing. This is cool. Yes. And I've got beard oil, so that'll actually be good. When I grow back longer, and I will, I just I wanted to switch it up a little, a little to make sure Pam still thought I was attractive and oh. stuff. So she still liked me a lot. And we got a letter. We'll read it. We'll read it off camera because I don't want to make it too long, but we will read it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Renegade. And family. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Yes. No, uh, last year, was it last year we sent out Christmas cards, but this year we didn't have time or really the money to do that. So we thank you very much, very kindly yes, awesome. uh, for doing Local that. Mm. I will put this to good use, my friend. What is those two are going absolutely? What is it, guys? What is it? Is that your toys? They got new toys? <laughs> They're just going. Quite stupid, but he's not dumb enough for a squeaky toy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rumble's going. <laughs> Rumble's going all crazy. It's squeak oh again. My God. Oh, oh my look, God. yeah, look, he's going all squirrely. Like he's going. What is that, Rumble? You like it? Yeah, it's so good, isn't it? Well, uh, we're just gonna sit down. We just finished dinner, and uh, we're gonna catch up on some of my shows since I've been gone for a week. Big Bang Theory, uh, Bob's Burgers, hopefully there's a new one, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I think we have another FUBAR Age of Computer to watch, that cr crazy cult-like uh, Canadian show. So that's what we're gonna do, not much. That, those are kind of the shows I kind of like watching too. You guys who have watched Bob's Burgers or anything? Ah, oh, my ear is still, this thing I got done at a tattoo place, both ears. This one's fine, this one's still achy. Pam always says that whenever she had her ears done, it would be painful for like months. And this one still bleeds a little bit, you know? I gotta clean it, I think maybe a little bit better. Anyway, that's it. That's it for today's vlog. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Squish your head.